Hi, my name is Alexis, and today we're going to show you how to pre-trip inspect an 18-wheeler. In this demonstration, we're going to use a 2004 International 9400. As we approach the vehicle, look for any obvious fluid leaks on the ground and any obvious mechanical damage. When you take your exam, you need to point out each part and then mention two or three things that can go wrong with it. We'll start at the front of the vehicle with your lights and reflectors. Lights shouldn't be cracked, broken, loose, or missing and they should be of the correct color. Your reflectors aren't broken, loose, missing, and are clean, clear, and covered. Mirrors should not be cracked, broken, loose, and mounted securely. Under the hood, in the engine compartment, you don't actually have to check any of the fluids, but you do have to point them out. Check your oil levels should be above the ad line. Power steering level should be above the minimum ad mark. Now for our air compressor. The part should not be cracked, broke, loose, no missing bolts, not leaking, and proper belt tension. If you have an automatic transmission, the fluid level in the red dipstick should be above the ad line while the engine is running. The steering box and hoses should not be cracked, broken, leaking, or missing any bolts. The steering linkage should not be cracked, broke, loose, or missing any bolts. For the tires, not uneven or unevenly worn, no cracks or cuts in the sidewall. Check the proper inflation with the tire gauge or just kick it. The rim should not be bent, cracked, or welded. Your lug nuts should not be cracked, missing, or loose. You should have no shining threads, no rusted trails. That could indicate a loose lug. Your hub oil seal should not be cracked, loose, or missing any nuts, and your oil level should be above the line. For the front suspension, we're going to start with the springs and shocks. No cracked, broken, or loose springs. No cracked, bent, loose, or leaking shocks. For the U-bolts, not cracked, bent, or broken. No loose U-bolts, no missing nuts. For your spring mounts, they should not be bent, cracked, or broken. No loose mounts or missing bolts. Your coolant level should not be below the ad mark. Your water pump will be located behind the center pulley with four nuts on it. It should not be cracked, leaking, should have the proper belt tension of three-fourths of an inch, and do cracked, worn, or leaking air hoses. Fittings are tight. Lines should not be cracked, loose, or rubbing anything. With any airlines, you should have a close ear and make sure that you can't hear any leaks. Your brake chamber should not be cracked, dented, or loose with no missing bolts. Your slack adjuster and push rod should not be bent, cracked, no missing pins or cotter keys. Your drum and linings are not warped, cracked, or welded drums. They're not cracked, not grease or oil on them. Shoes are at least one fourth of an inch thick. Door has no loose seals, bent hinges, and latches securely. Your fuel cap should not be missing or leaking. Your fuel tank should not be cracked, broken, leaking, or have any loose straps. Your steps are not broken, cracked, or missing any bolts. Drive shaft should not be bent, cracked, loose, or missing bolts. And the coupling should be secure. Exhaust system should not be cracked, broken through, rusted, or have any signs of soot lines. No loose mounts. The frame should be straight, not bented or cracked, no rusted through or sagging. Also, no welding should be on the frame. For rear tires, you should have two 30 seconds of tread, no cracks, splits, or breaks. No mismatched or unevenly worn, and proper inflation. Again, your rim should not be bent, cracked, or welded. Again, just like the front, your lugs should not be cracked, loose, or missing. Your hub oil seal should not be leaking and at the proper level. Make sure that you have the correct spacing between your tires. This is the bud spacing. It prevents air blowouts. 
Rear suspension, spring, shocks, and airbags. Springs are not cracked or broken and no missing springs. Shocks are not cracked, bent, or loose and no leaking. Your airbags should not be cracked or leaking. Since it is air, keep a close ear for any possible leaks. Your U-bolt should not be cracked, bent, or broken, no loose U-bolts, and absolutely no missing nuts. Your spring mount should not be bent, cracked, or broken, no loose air mounts, and no missing bolts. For your brake hoses and lines, they should not be cracked, worn, or leaking air hoses. Fittings should be tight, lines should not be cracked, loose, or rubbing anything. Your brake chamber should not be cracked, dented, or loose with no missing bolts. For your slack adjusters and push rod, I would first chalk the tires, then release the parking brake, and then check for not more than one inch of play when you pull by hand. Again, not cracked or bent with no missing pins or cotter keys. For your drum and linings, it should not be warped, cracked, or welded. Leak through inspection hole. Linings are not cracked, not greased, or oil on them. Lining shoes are at least one fourth of an inch thick. Demonstrate that the splash guards are not cracked, broken, or loose, and that is attached securely. Again, with your reflectors and lights, make sure that they're not cracked, broken, or missing, and are functioning properly. Under the hood. In the engine compartment. Wait, what was that first part? I messed up already. Under the hood. Okay, guys, help me out. In the engine. You don't have to actually check any of the fluids. Under the hood. For tires. No, I'm just Under the hood. No cracks. In, sorry, let me see it. Under the hood. Yeah. Check the proper in. Sorry. In the engine compartment. Wait, what was that first part? I messed up already. <laughs> now I need to see it. Sorry. No shiny trails. Your hub oil seal should not be cracked, glistening. Oh my gosh, what's going on? I'm so sorry. Your hub oil seal should not be cracked, missing, or loose. No loose nuts. Sorry. Sorry, what's it called? Missing any nuts. And your line budge. Coolant level should not be above the ad mark. Door has, nope, I don't remember it. I don't remember what I was saying. Check for not more than one inch of play when you pull my hand. That's what it says. Make sure that your reflectors are clean I can't remember that. Okay. Fluid level should be above the red. Never mind. Show your examiner your seat belt. It should be a three point belt. There should be no rips or tears and it should buckle properly. Now I will show you the safe start. Make sure it's in neutral. Apply the brake. Press all the way down on the clutch. All the way to the floor. Explain the gauges from left to right. Oil pressure gauge should be within normal range and functioning properly. Water temperature gauge should be working and rising as the engine warms up. Voltage gauge should be between 12 and 15 as you see it is. The air tank gauges should be showing a proper pressure and filling up pressure builds up. The horn should be working and you need to demonstrate. The mirror should be mounted properly, no cracks, and adjusted accordingly. The windshield should have no cracks and no obstructions, such as illegal stickers. Demonstrate the light indicator and the turn signals, left and right, as well as the headlights. You'll demonstrate the high beam indicator you need to demonstrate the windshield wipers and make sure they are functioning properly and intact, as well as wash. DOT requires
requires the defrost to work. So you had to demonstrate that as well. Yep, all good, it's blowing. Demonstrate the parking brake is working. Pull forward while it's applied. It's working. Now we're going to test the trailer emergency brakes. Apply the parking brake release. You're going to demonstrate that the trailer parking brakes are applied by pulling forward. They're working too. Now we're going to do the air leak down test by pumping the pedal. As you've just seen, the low air alarm just went off and triggered the pop-off pressure on the parking brake. Start it up again and let it build up the air pressure. Now we're going to test the leak down pressure on the service brake. On the service brake, press the pedal and hold it for one minute. It shouldn't go down more than 4 psi in a minute. Well, thanks for coming out, Paige. And, Thank you. Uh, and Justin for eye candy. Do you want to do a shout out? Um, give her a big round of applause. Yay! Uh, follow her on the Instagram. What is it? Buckwild uh, XO. Buckwild XO. Buckwild XO. <laughs> we'll put in the link in the description below. In the down under Australia section, which is where we're at right now. If you need a photographer, <laughs> look up I Candy Photography. I Candy or Photo photo Justin on Facebook. Thank you. Link in the description below for the pre trip. I'm gonna do the first one. I'm gonna do the first one. No, no, no. You did that. Good. I okay. got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> To do the pre-trip inspection click on the link in the description below for those videos let's click do on the, click on the link below to watch more of those videos okay okay go for it now we'll do the pre-trip of the cab inspection no link in the description below or click here and just point to a upper corner. All right, repeat that one more time. <laughs> link in the, just say link in the description below or click here. Link into the description below or click here. Watch part two of the pre-trip inspection. Click in the link into the description or click here. Click in the link. Watch pre-trip of, watch the, what is it, second part of this video. Watch the second part of the pre-trip inspection. Okay, watch the second part of the pre-trip inspection in the link below, right? Yes. Okay. Or click here. Watch the part two of the pre-trip inspection in the link below. Three, what? So start with the log first book. line. Now, you, now Just, that you know how to do the logbook. All right, stop. Now that you know how to do the logbook, click on the... Just, we're just gonna... Tune in next time. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Here, I'll help you down. Uh, Oh, right. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll put your foot right here. Okay. Or right here or right here. I gotcha. And uh, you guys gonna help if me? you're going to be falling. Um, Where's the hot at? No, nothing's hot on Something this side. Feels hot. Okay. Well, just, do you want to take those off while uh, you come down? If right, you. Hold on. You're such a good sport. We've got this. You, you got it? Give me my foot on the wheel. Yep, you got it. Okay, there we are. And then here we are. Okay, and then hold on, the side. All right, let's go do the little shout out. Here, your oh, you got to go back up there and get the phone. <laughs> All okay. right, let's do a quick little uh, end cap. Yeah. Signal when moving towards curve and leaving curve. Okay. Go ahead. When when what? When moving. Okay. Signal when moving towards curve and when leaving curve. Oh, signal when parking on a hill. Yes. Signal when. Can you read English? Yes, what I kind can. of girls oh have you been gosh. getting me? What in the world? Look at she's curve. shivering. I know. Signal when moving towards curve and when leaving curve. You're doing a great job. Signal next to a oh, curve. One more time. I'm sorry. When parking on a hill. To remember when you're doing your road test. Okay. Well, next to a oh, curve. One more time, I'm sorry. Um, gee, I wish I could stand up. Oh, I'm freaking cold. This is so cool. You're. Okay. Uh, Ready? <laughs> this is okay, gonna ready? be. Hold on, what did we call? I have to go home. My husband's going to work. What? So yeah, today, like I told him, I said I could have did it yesterday all day long. Oh, really? Or, yeah, Wednesday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, man. Last night was kind of warm, huh? Yeah. What did what we call? In the world. I know, but today, it's gypped. just like, today my schedule is like really whack. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I think this is... Where'd that, Where'd that thing go? Um... I think that's it. Uh, let's go. I'm parking on a hill next to a curve. If you're going uphill, turn left. If you're going downhill, turn right. Take your foot off the brake and it shouldn't go down more than 4 PSI in a minute. On the service brake, press the pedal and hold it for one minute. Uh, this is going to take a while. So uh, what do you have for lunch? <laughs> huh? Do they have any good places out here? Yeah, they do. Whatever you call it. Um, it just depends. Like in Tampa, if you want stuff down in uh, South Tampa, there's called a place called the Fresh Kitchen. It's on South Howard Street. It's all like um, hipster food. So they've got a place called yeah. the Green Lemon. It's awesome. If you're going to Clearwater, they have Frenchies, which is there. Did you grow up here? How no, I didn't. I'm from Ohio. So right. my husband only been here for three years. All right. That's all right. it. Yeah. So. Hmm. I know, so... What, what brought you down here? Nothing. We quit our jobs and moved. What? Why? <laughs> just what, because. The weather? That was it, oh. yeah. We just decided Tampa was it. Like, the flights were cheap to go here. It was fun. So, it's affordable to live here. I really like it. Well, uh, it's been almost a minute now, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, what you're supposed to do is... Go ahead. Go ahead. Now we're going to test the leak down pressure on the button. Yes. Go ahead. Now we're going to test the leak down on the pressure brake. System. Okay. And you turn the key and start it. Start it up again and let the air inflate in the pressure. Excellent. And trigger the, the parking. Okay. That was perfect timing. This <laughs> is um, trucks and trains uh -huh. require air pressure okay. to release spring brakes. Uh -huh. The spring brakes are pushed against spring 
and our, the parking brakes, basically. Okay. The air pressure builds up and pushes those springs away, allows the truck to roll. Okay. So if the air leaks out out of a train or a yeah. truck, then it like stops. In a car, okay. if the hydraulic brake line breaks, the car can't stop. Yeah. You know, so it's like a safety thing made on Definitely. all trucks and uh, trains. So, go ahead. As you've just seen, the low air... The low air... Okay, go for it. As you've just seen, the low air... What is it? Alarm. Alarm. Now we're going to do the... What's it called again? <laughs> air leak down test. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to do the air pump leak test by pumping oh my God, okay. air leak down test. All okay, right. go ahead. All right, to show how the parking brake is working properly, apply your foot all the way down. Pull. You're going to need how to. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're going to demonstrate that the parking brake is applied. Go ahead. Push in the parking brake release. Sorry, I should have you to say you okay. got it. You got it. Okay. You kind of like. Yeah. What should I say? Okay, it's a neutral now. You can let go. Okay. Um. Great. We didn't crash. Yeah, we're good. Okay. There uh, we go. I think you're gonna like. Tomorrow you'll you'll be like awake. Oh my god. No, knowing no, you'll be like, I think I can drive a truck now. I can drive a truck <laughs> now. It'll all this. like make sense, right? Um uh -huh. Okay. Uh, now we'll do the same thing but with the trailer. Okay. N now uh, we'll do the same thing. Be like, now we're gonna test the trailer brakes. Okay. Um, or just say now we're gonna test the trailer emergency brakes. You ready to do it? I think so. To demonstrate the parking brake is working, pull it until. Try pulling forward. Okay, try pulling forward to demonstrate the parking brake is applied. Try pulling forward. To demonstrate the. Um, okay, sorry. No, no, you're great. Uh, just take a deep breath, right? Oh. I need to take a breath too. Uh, did you need a Kleenex or anything? I'm I have good. A you're like my better now. My room, but yeah. Um, great. I need a drink of water. Okay. Do you do, do you want to do a break? Okay. okay. You want to take like a five minute break? I'm gonna I'm gonna right. just adjust it real quick. Yeah, yeah. You this. could. All right, can you I could. Yeah, office? yeah. Yep. All right. You just want to get comfortable. Go ahead and tell me the line one more time. That way I know. Yeah, we. Because I was like, I just don't want to yeah, you're like, the truck. Yeah, okay. you're like, I'm gonna go into the lake. We're like, here we go. We're into the ocean tonight. Into the vibe. All right, go ahead. Um, To demonstrate, break, to demonstrate the brake, to demonstrate the brake. Yeah, I'm not going to quit my day job. <laughs> We're good. We're good. All right, go uh, ahead. To demonstrate, to demonstrate the parking brake is functioning. To demonstrate the parking brake is functioning. To demonstrate the parking brake is working. Try to pull forward while it's applied. To demonstrate the parking brake is working, try to pull forward while it is applied. Demonstrate the parking brake is working. Put it forward. Try to pull forward to while pull it's forward applied. While it's applied. To demonstrate the parking brake is working, try to pull forward while it's while it's applied. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll be like, it's oh, it's pretty strong, you know, after it jerks. Okay. Go ahead. To show that the brake is working, apply your foot. Put it in gear until you feel the resistance. Put it in gear a little bit. Nope, wait. Oh. And the turn signal indicators. Left it. Go. Go. Okay. Go ahead. You'll wait. Oh, we got some. <laughs> should have no crash. Wait, one more no time. I will Dem say, demonstrate the horn and. and. The horn should be working and you need to demonstrate. <laughs> no, 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 wait, that's, the, no, you're, you were right, you're right, this is the real horn. No, no, try it harder, harder. Oh my god. 
gosh. Yeah, okay. there you go. All right, yeah. That was a good blooper. I can't do that. Oh, okay, good. All right. This is, I wasn't expecting video today. I thought, oh, okay. No, shoot, we hey, got this. Hey, I told him video, okay? Oh, right. In the we ad got and everything. This. We got this. Bad man. Don't it's worry. All, it's all good. <laughs> so, uh, next. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to say the mirrors should be mounted securely, uh, no cracks, and uh, visible. Um, should be properly mounted, no cracks, and adjusted properly. The mirror should be mounted properly. There should be no scratches or breaks. Like, mounted properly. As the air pressure builds up. Just say air pressure builds up. Air pressure builds up. I right, repeat one more time and then I got it. The Water temperature gauge is working and rising as water temperature. <laughs> as the Go ahead. We have our oil. Cool to apply the park. Oh. oh. <laughs> ready. Okay. Anytime you're ready. Look at the camera and then, and then uh, I'll zoom in the gauges as you see. All oh. right, we have all of our gauges here. Here is the oil gauge. Wait. Oh. No, no. Sorry. Just say, repeat after me. Uh, show the gauges starting from left to right. For okay, go ahead. Now we'll do the cap part of the pre-trip inspection. Okay. Now we'll do the cap part of the pre-trip inspection. Okay. <laughs> Show you the safe start. Make sure it's in neutral. Pull to apply the park. Oh. Oh. Now I'm going to show you how to. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to show you how to. What, what is it called? Do the again? safe start. Oh, yeah, do the safe start. All right. I got it. Ready? It, it should have no tears and it should buckle properly. Show your examiner your belt part of the pre trip inspection. Yep. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> now we'll do yes, the cap we'll part, part of the pre-trip inspection. Pre inspection. Pre inspection. All right, ready? go ahead. Yep, yep. Now it should be a three-point watch. Belt. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead. Both bars. Or the steering wheel. Or the steering wheel. All right. You use both hands for the bars, or one on the steering wheel. This is a three. This is a three-point safe entrance. Yes. Okay. Whoops. Latch door. Here, the release is over here. It should be a three point watch. Belt. Go ahead. Show your examiner your belt. It should be a three-point belt. There should be no rips or tears, and it should buckle properly. Right. Now I'm going to show you how to... <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to show you how to... What, what is it Do the safe start. Okay, do the safe start. All right, I got it. Ready? Driven a semi-truck? Ish. Ish. My, yeah, oh, my okay. girlfriend, my girlfriend, or whatever you call it, dad is a semi-driver, so he used to mess around in his truck and be freaking putting around the yard and stuff. Is, there's the key. Um, <laughs> Clutch down, brake on. Okay, wait, 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 don't I'm get too not. excited. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like you already. Um, you, you're, you're uh, way ahead of the game, huh? Uh, so, okay. Oh, right. Uh, we should have done the emergency equipment. Okay, let's do First, it. before we get in. Um, so we're gonna do, yeah, just leave the key in the ignition. We're gonna get out, you're gonna show the fire extinguisher. Okay. Um, okay, so this will be the beginning of cab safe. Uh, this will be the beginning of cab safe. No, no, no. That was just a mental note for oh. me. Uh, you'll say, um, when you're 
doing your road exam, show the instructor your safety equipment, which is the what is this? Fire, fire extinguisher. Show that it's mounted securely. Go like that, and that it's full. You could be like, oh yeah, this one's in the green range, or yeah. something. I don't know. Yeah. We gotta, when you're doing your safety inspection, show your um, instructor. When, when you're going to do your road test with the instructor, show them, demonstrate, no, show them the safety equipment. When you what? At the very beginning again? One more doing time. your road test. Oh, when you're doing your road test. Oh, my wire came out. When you're doing your road test, use two hands on the rail. Sam, show your inspector. Instructor. Okay, so you're, show your, when you're doing your road test exam, show your inspector. Instructor, instructor. Oh, inspector. All right, when you're doing your road test exam, show your inspector your fire. No, wait, instructor, oh, not instructor. Inspector. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's all good. When you're doing your safety exam, show your instructor your. No, you said it again. Inspector, I mean... show them your inspector. <laughs> no, th okay. This is great. This is All like. Right. <laughs> uh... <laughs> when you're doing your safety exam, show your inspector your fire extinguisher. So now you've seen the pre-trip parts one and two, the power unit, and the end cab. Click on the link in the description below or up above to see part three of the trailer with me.